Shalom. This video is going to be a little different than normal. Most people, when they think of Linux, think of something like this. A text interface, cryptic arcane commands to do what you want to do, and nothing else. But Linux has come a long way, and this is actually what you boot into, this graphic screen in OpenSUSE. Uh, this particular one is called KDE, uh, the K Desktop Environment. Now you see right here I've got some files. Right here I've got a widget. And you can actually put widgets all over your desktop by just clicking here and add widgets. Down here in your little taskbar you see I've got my mail over here that notifies me why I got new mail. I've got the recording desktop thing here. Got my Firefox, my little file manager, put my files where I want to. But I can go over here and click on this and actually add widgets down here. And there's a lot of different widgets and I can um, have information just right out in front of me if I want to. And as far as Firefox, Firefox looks basically the same as it does on Windows. I actually imported my Windows books, bookmarks but you can see it's basically the same thing it's got nice looking fonts um, Fedora I tried it out the fonts were horrible but OpenSUSE nice looking fonts works pretty much the same way uh, you've got a lot of different programs and I changed the little menu here it had it to where like you'd go into games and you'd click on games then you'd see board games you have click on that and then you'd see over here M K Mahjong, incidentally, is a colossal waste of time. It's terribly enjoyable. You lose hours in it. It's a time sink. But once you got over here, you'd have to click on something to get back to here and click on something to get back to here. I hate that, so I got it to where it will expand itself. But you see, I've got a uh, recording. I've even got my little TV app here. And I've got a TV card, and you can see I can watch TV, I can change channels. So, I mean, it does anything you want to. Anything that you can do in Windows, pretty much. The difference between Linux and Windows, there are several differences. But one major difference is the quality of software that you get for free. In Windows, it's profit-driven. In Linux, it's community-driven. People want to make programs they can be proud of that people can use. And it's got a whole different mindset to it. Now, many of you have used GIMP which uh, was actually created to compete with Photoshop and it was created in Linux. It was for people who wanted to edit photos and they made a Windows port of it and then people in Windows started using it but it's originally from Linux and this is another thing. It's like iMovie. It's called OpenShot and I can pull my videos over here and then I can pull them down here and I can cut them, I can edit them, do whatever I want to. The screen recorder, of course. Um, all this stuff is free. And that's one thing I really like about Linux is you get this high quality software. Another thing I like about Linux is if I go here into Yast then you see I got software management. You click on this, you type in what, you want, what you're looking for, what kind of thing you're looking for. Or you can select, you know, you can select games, multimedia, that type of thing. And then it brings up list. You just point and click right on it and install it. You don't have to go searching around the internet. You can pull that up. And then you've got stuff like hardware information and you can do all these different configurations for your hardware all these different settings for your system and you can get it looking just like you want to 
in Windows you can do pretty much anything you want as long as you're willing to pay extra. In Mac it comes with almost everything you want. In Linux you can do pretty much everything you want but you don't have to pay extra for it. Uh, Linux is free and then the programs are free. Of course you there are some programs you can buy for it but the majority of everything is free. And I really, really like this version of OpenSUSE because I think it's come a long way and I thought, hey, I'll make a video about it and show people because when people think Linux, people are thinking, oh, it's too hard. Uh, oh, it's this little text thing where you've got to type everything. But as you can see, everything is pretty much point and click. It's a beautiful desktop. Uh, it's a lot easier than people think it is and there are benefits to it but uh, I thought I'd just show you the desktop here and shalom